this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Cross! Let's enter the Sea of Eden and start Disc 2. Goodbye, Disc 1. You will be missed. Alright, we've made it to the Sea of Eden in another world. You can just take this fate distortion to get back there, but... Or, to get back to Homeworld, but yeah. So anyway, in the Sea of Eden, we got these three islands here. Present, past, and future. Whichever one you visit last will determine which path you take from here on out. I mean, it's not a major difference, so I won't be showing all of them. But yeah, the island that I want to visit last is the present island. Doesn't matter which one you go to first, just as long as that's the last one. Isn't Atropus Robo's girlfriend? I'm guessing that's just a reference because they never really say anything about her. Or maybe they're just using Latin words just so they sound smart, or something like that. And one thing that I didn't uh, get a chance to mention last time was about the rainbow equipment. A couple things about that. Uh, first, do not forge a spectral glove, because we're going to find one later, so there's no point in wasting a rainbow shell on it, or the money for that matter. And also, the Master Mine is still a little better than the Spectral Swallow, because even though the Spectral Swallow is stronger, the Master Mune auto crits on just about everything. So it's pretty good. It's still better, the Master Mune. However, the Master Mune is a key item in the game, so you'll still want to forge a Spectral Swallow eventually when we get a lot more Rainbow Shells. So, I mean, so you can have it for a new game plus, that is. Alright, so now let's check out the present island. Sorry, I just wanted to rearrange my weapons, actually. Um, although I did forge the rainbow equipment, and I will want to use that eventually for the weapons, it's a good idea to have stone weapons here, because just about everything here is machine or weapon type, or, or yeah, machine type enemies, which stone weapons will auto-crit against. The Master Mune is good enough, though. And it's time to test our fate with boss time! Alright. Now the difference between the three paths that you could have taken is the boss that you fight here. That's it. That's the only difference, really. I think the only difference is, like, their color palette, too. Not really much of, of a, a change in their attack pattern. There's a little bit of difference. Like, they might cast a little different elements, but my strategy would be pretty much the same for all of them. Uh, buff up Surge, and just have him go hog wild on them. That's pretty much it. I mean, there's really not much strategy involved. I don't even need Diminish against this boss. It's easy enough. Good idea to have the Red Plate, though, on Guile, because, well, Guile takes hits pretty bad. Or, not Guile. Fargo. Red Plate on Fargo. Because uh, this guy has uh, something pretty nasty elements that might be able to kill Fargo, or at least severely damage him. So, what the? Huh. What happened to my stamina there? That's weird. I think you can steal, uh, what is it, like a white breach from this boss? Nothing I'm particularly worried about, so I'm not even going to bother with that with Fargo. Let's just have Surge go all out there. If only there were a way that I could avoid having to use stamina in order to actually use my attacks. But <laughs> that's just the main function of the game. I mean, there's no way we're getting around that. <laughs> but anyway, uh, the reason for fighting this boss in particular is mostly because of... Uh, what is it? Oh, I should have shown off this level 5 tech. Oh well. But yeah, the difference between the bosses, as far as why you might want to fight them, is the items that they drop. Uh, one of them has the holy healing element, which is pretty good. I mean, it's the best healing element in the game. Uh, I think it might restore, if not all your HP, almost all of it. But, and by the way, the Saints summon, uh, it deals damage to your enemies, and it restores all your HP. So it's pretty kick-ass. That's why I've got all those level 1... Uh, white and black elements equipped because that'll help me cast my summons there. Yeah, that could have hurt Fargo pretty bad. Uh, 
Yeah, just finish him. I'm surprised we haven't finished him already. Yay! We got him! Nice dissolve. Every boss should have a cool dissolving effect. Unless that's another graphical glitch from my emulator. I don't think so, but... Alright! Yay! We got him! And we gain another level. What do we get for defeating the present? Fate? Or whatever this thing is? We get the Begora element! The only one in the game. Uh, basically, as long as it's in effect, you never consume stamina. It is ridiculously good. It would be, in my opinion, the most obscene element in the game if we had gotten it earlier, but, well, I didn't. Okay, I've equipped the Begora element on Fargo there. Basically, just uh, equip it on level 4. No reason to set it higher than that. I've also equipped the Prism Mail on him because he doesn't need the Red Plate anymore. So now let's head to the Center Island, the Future Ruins, the Time Fortress, Chronopolis. What an amazing name for an area. It looks kind of familiar, though. Whoa! Well, I suppose Serge wouldn't remember this place because he was like, what, three the last time we were here? Or he was here? Huh. Well, it seems like kind of a nice place. Huh. We can't fight these guys, but apparently they have access to the frozen flame. Nuts. Yeah, I'm sure. What could possibly go wrong? How would they know about fate? Oh, right. They're from the future. That would explain a lot. What are these guys, though, anyway? I mean, what, are they like humans evolved into gummy bears or something? I don't know. I'd want to evolve into a cat myself. I guess they're like apparitions of people from the future or something, but... We can't see them or their bodies for some reason. But I can see this guy very clearly for boss time! Let's get him. Show off the power of that new element that we got. Oh yeah! But uh, first things first. Let's buff up Surge with other things. We'll show off Begora soon enough, viewers. Soon enough. I suppose I could use the black summon against this guy, but I think it's more important to use diminish. And besides, I don't have any black elements for uh, Guile to use there. Well, I suppose I have his, uh, uh, what is it, his Wanda in attack. I mean, better than a sharp stick in the eye. It's a blunt stick. No, no. Okay, yeah, so, uh, yeah, strengthen, uh, eagle eye, diminish, get that going as soon as possible. Uh, oh, okay, well, yeah, this won't hurt too much, because I got diminish. Ha! You suck. Yeah, we're okay there. You definitely want the white plate on Guile here, or he will not survive. Uh, yeah, yeah, now's a good time to go after Begora. It stops your stamina consumption. It is ridiculous. There's a reason why they waited until disc two to give it to you. And this is the only way of getting it. That's one of the reasons why, or fighting that boss I did, is the only way of getting it. Wow! Just keep going, Surge! It doesn't even use any stamina at all! It doesn't last too long, but long enough. But yeah, fighting that Vita Unas boss is the only way of getting... Did I get him already? No, no. It's the only way of getting the Vigora element, whereas... Yeah, look at that damage. Uh, the, the other boss that you can fight to get... What was that other element? Uh, the Holy Healing element? We'll be able to get another one, actually in the relatively near future. Er, well, the distant future, but... Whatever! You know what I mean, viewers. This guy knows what I mean, too, with Vigora! Yeah, I mean, even with, you know, white-on-white -white action there, I mean, Vigora was still ridiculous against him. But the nice thing about the stone equipment also is that it auto-crits against these guys. Uh, you could also use, uh, well, the Master name like I did, too, because that, that also auto-crits on these guys. Oh, and you could also have stolen a Rainbow Shell from him, but it's a rare steal. We'll be able to find more on Disc 2 next time on Let's Play Chrono Cross! Or, well, maybe not next time, but soon enough, viewers. I'm still signing off.
Have a good day.